First, uh, one or two questions down here, please. Eva. <laughs> yes, yes. Eva. Oh, I have so many questions. <laughs> Um, I want to start off by just saying thank you. I work at the Culture Administration and I've been a challenge giver and I followed you and it's been fantastic. Uh, this was the first time that I heard you mention that the golden ticket should be totally, uh, should cover the whole cost uh, instead of as Kulan does today, always secure that the schools pay always at least 25 Swedish crowns since there is some kind of uh, idea that we want the schools to understand that culture is never free. It always comes with a cost. Could you just tell me a little bit how you have been discuss uh, discussing when you find that it's better if the golden ticket covers the whole cost? I think actually Mona come up, you know, we thought it's the same taxpayer money, payer money that is split to culture and development and to the schools. Mm -hmm. And why do we have to make it complicated since it's the same taxpayer money? Let it go directly in one flow. And I don't know if anybody else wants to say Yeah, I mean, essentially uh, through the communities that we've had with teachers, uh, sometimes they just have very tight budgets. And so when we see cultural activity, um, even if it's subsidized through Kula, they're not sure if they want to use their limited budget to go for that show. So often they end up waiting to utilize their funds to go to only one or two shows. And so the idea is if you eliminate this barrier, then the teachers themselves will have uh, the freedom to take a little more risk and potentially see a show that they're not 100% sure about, sure about, but because it's free, they can actually go ahead and get their students to it. And other teachers we've interviewed, we've seen that if they applied outside of Kulan for Scope and School Awards or other funds, uh, the students gain a better appreciation as the more that they see in shows and theater performances. So it's more about the quantity as well to actually have the students go to the shows that they gain better appreciation. Um, like, is there somewhat of a part of this that is connected to the curriculum of teachers? Like, for example, in the brochures or something like that, that you basically hand out information how this fits into the whatever they have to do in their curriculum? Um, yes. Most uh, theater groups that perform for schools uh, already have a you know, teacher's guide or support material for the teacher on how to integrate it into class later. So it's already something that most theater groups mm. do. So it would be just communicating that information and material to, to teachers. But I, I want to add that one of the theater groups said that if there was some sort of go in between person that uh, made personal <coughs> contact, they would be able to develop more uh, curriculum uh, relevant material and also from the other side, they said, these teachers, they don't know who they are. So if you have a central person who is in a go in between, it acts as a reference, it would make it, it would, there would be more activity between the schools and the cultural activities. Questions? Yes. Oh. Did, did you make some calculation how much, let's say, time or money you would save through the simplification? Because I understand that the present process requires a lot of work, which eventually, as you could say, you could say it's a friction in the system. You try to get rid of the friction, and this should save you quite some money that can be used and spent directly. Did you make an estimate about that? I mean, the only thing was the theater themselves said that with the money, we, they hire an extra person mm -hmm. to gather all the information on the schools, to reach out to the schools, and all these emails back and forth. They said with that money, they could offer the shows for free. So it's just, um, uh, yeah, it, it's like an excess administrative Great. And more questions upstairs. I'd like to say to you, Eva, thanks for your great engagement. And, and, and I see your expression, how happy you are. And it is it, a bit disturbed. And I think that's always what we want. We want happiness. Yeah,
sense of being disturbed. That's great. <laughs> so, thanks again. drinking coffee, but while you drink coffee, you can think about what the water is like in there, because the following two projects will be connected to water of Stockholm.